it's Manchester United versus Tottenham Super Sunday. Always a big game. So stay tuned to the very end to get my thoughts, team news, lineup predictions, etc. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. It's free to do so and it helps the channel grow. Get involved in the comments throughout today's video. This is the 202nd meeting between Manchester United and Tottenham. It's the 100th. At Old Trafford, um, the whole team usually wins in these games. Remind me a little bit of the North London derby, maybe not quite much significant wise, but you know, result wise in terms of the home team always does well. Team needs to both teams, both teams pretty much come into it with a full squad, full set of players. For Spurs, uh, Anne said that everyone is okay apart from Son, uh, who's being assessed, but he wants to train today and is expected to train today um, at the time of when this is being recorded, which is Saturday. Um, so by the time you're probably seeing this, he, he you know, will know whether he's available or not. But at this moment in time, we're not sure. But I'm assuming he's also forgetting Richarlison, um, who's, who's still out as well. And I think a long while, that's why he's, he's probably forgot. He'd say, don't ask me about Richarlison. I'll tell you when... He's fit, so yes, and it will be a long while. Lineup wise, I'll probably play the same team against Brentford with a couple of changes. So Vicario in goal, Adoki, Porro, uh, Romero, and Van der Ven. Romero will see back from that. Suspension uh, in Europe, last time he played the Champions League against AC Milan, the way he missed, called back. Uh, and Roddy Drugs in step two. We all know how that went. Um, it's nice to see him apologise, by the way, but we all focus on the team. Midfield, uh, Madison Kulosevsky, they're, they're both on form at the moment, so you have to keep them in there. And I probably will go with Basuma over Bentoncourt for a you know, defensive point of view, I suppose, in terms of the threat that United will pose, but I'm quite open to whoever starts there because I think Bentoncourt is the more consistent and I think you know, he's been really good to the start of the season, so as has Basuma, so yeah, you can make a good case for even them starting. The front three, if Son is available, would be Son for me, Son, Johnson, uh, and Solanke if it's not, um, then we've got a little bit of a problem, probably Timo Werner starting on the left, there won't be a post to Mikey Moore doing it, Man United experimented coming up against, you know, this today in Cobby Mainy, that works, Lewis Miley with Newcastle when you give a young player an opportunity, we know what Mikey Moore's capable of, and I think he should be no, I'm not saying he should be ahead of Werner in terms of selection, but he should be on par or, or close to Werner when selected. Like against Carabag, 3 0 up, 20 minutes to go. For me, you bring Mikey Moore on, and there's nothing against Werner. There's no agenda for me or hate as far as I'm concerned. Whether you agree with the sign or not, up to you. But uh, Moore should be getting more minutes for me. But score prediction, um, I, you know, this has a draw written all over it for me. I think both teams. Both managers need a win. Neither team has started the season very well. Both on seven points, um, having lost two games. Both lost two games. So neither side has started as they'd hoped. But can turn it around and a draw just sees the gap to the top teams, whether it be the top four, which I think both teams will be aiming for come the end of the season. That gap will just increase the, the burden, the backlog, if you like. That's the word for the rest of the season. So it has to be a win for Spurs. It has to be a win for Manchester United. And that's why I'm going 1-1. So many times it's a must-win game uh, for both sides and it ends in a draw. So get your score prediction and your lineup in the comments below. But if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button, turn the notifications bell on for England, Premier League and Tottenham content. But for now, I'll see you in the match reaction. Hopefully, talking about Spurs win. But for now, massive, come on you Spurs. Hey, 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 hey.